Hi everyone, we are glad to introduce our work MMP Track, large scale densely annotated multi camera multiple people tracking benchmark to you. We will give a brief introduction about our MMP Track dataset. First, let's give you a very brief introduction about our auto annotation system, with which we collected such large scale dataset with minimum manual annotation cost. The auto annotation system is composed of multiple calibrated depth sensors and ordinary RGB cameras. Each camera or depth sensor should overlap with at least one of the other sensors. We then construct point cloud of the whole scene. After that, we build a highly accurate 3D tracker to generate 3D tracking results in world coordinates. Finally, 3D tracking results are projected back to each RGB camera's view to get 2D bounding boxes. Our 3D tracker can still make errors sometimes. The most common errors are tracklet ID switch and false positive person detections. We ask annotators to fix these errors. Let's look at two sample videos from our dataset. The left video are from retail environment. We deployed six cameras in this environment. The video on the right are from industry environment, which has four cameras. We annotated all people with full bounding boxes, which means even when the person is fully occluded or half occluded by environment or other people, we still label bounding boxes from foot to head. Here are some basic statistics of our dataset. We recorded our dataset from five different indoor environments with different number of cameras. Totally, our dataset has 576 minutes video, 23 different camera views. We also guarantee that person identities are not overlapped in training, validation, and testing set. Compared with previous multi-camera tracking datasets, our dataset is the largest one with full annotations. We hope our release of this dataset can help multi-camera tracking research community develop new models and serve as a benchmark dataset. Next, we will talk about our benchmarking results on MMP track dataset. We evaluate two real time trackers on the dataset, DMCT and Voxel track. DMCT estimates the ground point heat map of each person in each camera view, projects and fuses into one ground plane. DMCT trains the ground point estimation model on the training split of MMP track and uses a rule based top down person detector. DMCT TD only changes to a deep learning based detector. DMCT XT uses the rule based detector and trains ground point estimation model with extra external data set. DMCT XT TD uses EXT's ground point estimation model and deep learning based detector. Voxel track performs tracking with estimated 3D body joints and is built on top of Voxel pose. The results suggest that deep learning based top down person detector can boost the performance of DMCT. This shows that we can train a model that adapts to a given environment with improved accuracy easily because we can generate large scale multi camera multi object tracking dataset for the environment using our auto annotation system. We evaluate a person re identification model proposed in FastReID. We divide each video sequence into two parts. We use the cropped persons in the first half as the query set and those in the second half as the gallery set. We evaluate three training configurations of the model. For the generalization setting, we directly evaluate the model trained with MSMT dataset with more than 4,000 person identities. For adaptation setting, we perform supervised fine tuning of model on training split of our dataset. For the supervised setting, we train the model from scratch with our dataset only. Training from scratch outperforms the generalization model the fine-tuned model performs better. This shows that our large-scale dataset can help learn a more discriminative read feature to adapt a specific environment. Thanks for watching.